I'm going to go over unboxing uh, the EV100 autopilot from Raymarine. It's the wheel version. Basically, it comes in this big box. There's four components in four separate smaller boxes. This is the sensor core. The P70. The controller. Comes with the ACU100. And then it comes with a NEMA 2000 network starter kit. And the wheel. Has the motor built right on. No belt. Here's all the manuals. For each one. And then the nice thing is it does have a three year warranty. That's about everything they send you. Along with the manuals. And a giant drone. Oh, nope, they don't send you that. Just kidding. That's the P70. Pretty simple. Plus or minus 10 degrees starboard, plus or minus 10 degrees port. And this gyro. That's it. That's the mount. control unit. This is what controls the wheel. This thing, yeah. End of a network. So this is what he got. With the NEMA 2000 network starter kit from Raytheon. These things are pretty decent. A little bit more heavy duty than I thought. But still plastic nonetheless. The white goes to the white. Blue is a continuation of the network. And red, you take one of the device inputs, white to white, and that's how you get power to the whole network. That goes through your circuit breaker. And for a basic system, they use the network hub and then the T adapters. So that's what we're going to set up today. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just starting right here, they have the terminator on the end. So I'm going to do that. All right, so I'm going to put the terminator in the end piece, match up that with the tab on the inside. So on that side right there. Push those together. And the next thing they have you doing is taking the power cord this is about how long it is pretty good and that's going to go in your first one right here Alright, now the control head comes with this short one, 
and this is to go straight to another one of these so you can so you can actually go straight in that without going to a hub see how it has two ports on the back so you can put multiple beside each other these are nice very very nice super thin so what you do to mount this is you cut a hole this size flush it in and mount the screws here nice one or the second next available all right after you take these two screws out of the cover, take the two screws out, remove the cover. And what you're going to do is take the supply cord, and that goes in the SeaTac NG port right here. Alright, so the wheel itself comes with this cable, plug one end right here into the wheel, and the other end goes into the ACU right there. So that's your link between the wheel and the ACU. So there's two power cords that go out to a 12 volt battery. One from the NEMA 2000 network hub, and there's going to be another power cord coming out of the ACU. It needs its own power cord, and that goes to a 12 volt battery, but that's not supplied, so you just use some marine grade. And here's the whole system. So you got the ACU that sends a power to the wheel or in any commands that it receives from the control unit and the compass and gyro is also attached.